Okay, and so right now our speed is increasing insanely fast. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, our speed is in the million, two million, three million, four million, five, ten million. Am I even getting those numbers right? Okay, I fell off the map, but I'm back. Okay. Yeah, I think we just broke <laughs> Roblox. Roblox always plays it very safe with numbers. I mean, it's not just Roblox, to be fair. A lot of games try to avoid, like, having things that are too long or, you know, too big. Like, games always try to convert numbers down, not to cause errors. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. I could be mistaken, but I think it's something called floating point error, where the issue basically becomes that as numbers get way too high in any single game, right? errors happen. And this is true for Roblox as well. For example, let's say I make a rig of my avatar, right? So right now, he's here, his location is like, I don't know, negative one, negative three, doesn't matter. These are low numbers, so he is fine. So like, I can modify these numbers a bit, right? But if I take the Y axis and set it to be like a million, for example, and then we take a look at the character, this is what he looks like now. And the reason he looks like this is because Roblox has a very hard time calculating just anything, even the text. In fact, I struggle to move my camera up and down. Like, it, it's not letting me... Like, it's sometimes not letting me. But again, if I were to move it back to be 1, right? Now he's fine. And so like I said, I could be mistaken, but this is what's known as floating point accuracy or error. Some nerd could go and tell me the correct term, but basically high numbers result in potential errors. And just for fun, I wanted to quickly test out like what would happen if I were to take the character's speed and just exponentially keep on increasing it until something happens. And so I'm going to do exactly that. Now, the very first problem is that the base plate might be a little too small, okay? If we're going to be dealing, I know it's very huge, right? But if we're going to be dealing with like a super fast character, we need to make this a lot bigger. Now, like I said, Roblox is very aware of the fact that large numbers do cause errors. So Roblox does have a size limit, right? I can't go past uh, 2048. So what I can do instead is honestly just take this base plate and just copy it around a bunch of times. And yeah, that should be good. So I just cloned a bunch of base plates around, you know, our main base plate. So the player should have a lot of space to play around. Now, code-wise, honestly, there's a lot of ways we could do this, right? I mean, all we're trying to do is just take the player speed and just like every second or so, maybe like times that speed by like 1.1 or 1.5 or something. And like I said, many ways of doing this, but what I'll do is I'll make a starter character script. And what this will do is whenever the character gets loaded of any player, this script will go inside of that character. So we can just make a variable for that. Local car is equal to script.parent because the script will be inside of the character. And then we can say while task.wait1, meaning every one second, we're gonna do something. And so here's what we need to do, okay? We need to say car.humanoid.walk speed, okay? And then we set it equal to some number. By default, this walk speed number is 16. And so what I'm thinking we can do, okay? The way we can do this is we can make a variable called speed and we can set this to be equal to 16 and then so we're going to make this walk speed equal to this variable but obviously it can't always be 16 right so what i'm going to do is i'll just say speed times equals which just means like we're going to multiply speed by a certain number and for now let's say 1.1 okay so we're going to take the speed's value which is 16 multiplied by 1.1 and then make the walk speed the new speed value and then we're going to do the same thing a second later so if I play the game right now, and then I go and check out my actual character, let's see, humanoid, and we find the speed, there we go, see, 31, 34, 37, and it's going to keep on exponentially increasing. Now, right now, I'm fairly fast, but like, it's nothing, I don't know what these things popping up are, but it's nothing too special right? Okay, 118, 130, it is increasing exponentially. And so far, yeah, I don't really see anything breaking. Uh, I mean, obviously, we're moving incredibly fast, and uh, how, how long would it take me to reach the border? And there we go, yeah, we're at the border. So yeah, I am moving incredibly fast, but... And I just fell off the map. Okay, so that was interesting, but I do want to do some changes. The first thing I want to do is I want to set this task.wait instead of one second to be 0.1 second, just so we get the, you know, big speed faster. And then another thing that I want to do as well is I want to say uh, game user input service, input began, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make it so that whenever the player presses some sort of key, 
uh, we get teleported back to the spawn location just in case like i get too fast and i start like running off the base plates and like i can't stop myself and then i can just press one button and then be back so i don't die and the way i can do this is i'll, I'll make a function right we're gonna get the actual input that the player pressed we need to ensure that this input uh is an actual like key on my keyboard so i can say enum key code i guess r sure and what we're gonna do we probably could do this in a local script but because we're dealing with like the character's actual in-game position i think we should do this on the server and not on a local script so basically we just need to have a server script like so and we need to tell the server script like hey the player pressed the key please teleport them to the um spawn location and this is where a little item called a remote event comes in very simple we just say game replicated storage uh, remote events fire server so we fire a message to the server and then on the server we can listen for that message by basically saying the same thing remote event on server event connect function and we get the player who fired the event and then we just got to check if the player has an actual character so if not player character then return end meaning just end the function and do nothing but if the player does have a character then player character humanoid root part dot position is going to be equal to the workspace uh spawn location position and then i guess i want the player to spawn a bit above the spawn location so we can just increase the position of the spawn location by uh four studs up okay and yeah that should be everything so let me just check right now our speed should be increasing at a very rapid rate but there we go Okay. Okay. And so right now our speed is increasing insanely fast. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Our speed is in the million, two million, three million, four million, five, ten million. Am I even getting those numbers right? Okay. I fell off the map, but I'm back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the walk speed is increasing a lot. Um, I'm not seeing much difference, honestly. Like, yeah, we're moving unbelievably fast, but I don't know for a number this big, I thought we'd be moving a bit faster. So I guess we just have to see how far this number can go. Okay. Small update. I cannot move. So what might have happened is that the number w was so big that it went back to being small. And I don't say this with much confidence because I'm not sure how like Roblox Studio deals with big numbers. But as it is right now, I am literally unable to do anything. Yeah, I'm pressing the W key, I'm pressing everything, but I don't even see slight movement. So here's what I'm going to do instead, okay? To speed up the process, let's multiply speed by 2. And immediately, let's go to the humanoid really quickly, really quickly. Let's, let's see what happens, let's see what happens. Okay, immediately walk speed is back here. I cannot move. I can't do anything. I'm just spinning in one spot. Look at how high the number goes. Oh, look at that. Infinite speed. Is this it? Have we crashed to Roblox? Yeah, I can't move. It's saying that the gameplay is paused because the content is loading. Yeah, I think we just broke <laughs> Roblox. That was a little boring though. And before the gameplay paused, my movement was like a bit weird. Like I was pressing a key, right? And then it didn't move me. But then I would press another key and then it would move me in the original direction that the original key was supposed to take me. So for example, if I were to press W, it does nothing. But then if I press S, it would move me forward for some reason. So here's what I'm gonna do, okay? Final change, 1.5. Just so it still rapidly increases, but I want to have an actual chance to play around with this movement. So yeah, as you can see, I'm really fast, right? And then at some point, it seems as though I just completely stop and slow down and I cannot do anything. Yeah, look at that. I tried teleporting and it said gameplay paused. There we go again. Okay. Oh, game of the pause. Look at that. What just happened? It just flew me up. That's crazy. Okay, my speed right now is infinite and I'm falling. I press the button. It's just throwing me back up. Yeah, I press one button. It just... Look at that. There's like a delay almost. Whenever I press a button, it moves me to that location like two, like a second later. I guess that's what you get with infinite speed. Damn. Yeah, so I press one button. I'm completely off these like nine base plates that i'm surrounded by and whenever i move it also sends me up in the air so does that mean that the base plate is like tilted in some way because i don't see another reason for me to go this high look at that and then another look at how weird this movement is like it's like i'm trying to walk right and it's like it's like i don't know zigzagging me here 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 it's like teleporting That is so weird. Yeah, I mean, this is how Roblox actually functions with high speeds. So so what this means then, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm never wrong, so don't correct me, is that when you're moving at your normal speed of 16, that you are being sli ever so slightly shot up then? Is that how it works? Because I don't see any reason for me to start flying up, unless we already by default fly up, and then I can't even get to my spawn location. Look at that, I'm trying to go to the spawn location. It's not letting me. Well, okay, you know what? 
I think we've learnt enough about how speed works, and I just, I keep being sent up, okay. Now, there are some cool things we could, I guess, try with this. Uh, something that I'm really curious about is how would Watcher work, okay? Like, what if I were to make a whole ocean? Okay, there we go. Uh, ocean, I will create some water. Please create, there we go. Yeah, I'm really curious, how would Watcher work with this speed? Let's just play, let's just, let's just play and see. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay, so the speed seems to be affecting the swimming, kind of? I'm not too sure, but yeah, it does seem like- Oh, gameplay paused, okay. That's actually really interesting. Yeah, so on land, all it would take is just one button, and then I'd just be teleported, gone. But here it's like, I'm swimming normally. It's not actually doing anything. What if I'm on the surface of the water? Like, you know how you can, like, jump on the water? What if I do that? Yeah, no, water is actually fine. This was a big surprise for me. I actually didn't- I don't know, I thought, I thought I'd be like zooming through the water. Okay, then I guess what if I were to go back to the spawn location? I'm not even pressing anything. I'm not pressing anything. He's just doing... Really? Okay, so high speeds also make the Roblox player gain sentience, because he's doing this by himself, and I, I'm not sure what he's trying to do, but I don't know, return back to normal, because that's not happening. But okay, let's try this out, right? Go to, No, no, go to the water. Go to the water. Go to the water. I'm, I'm, like, I'm trying to... What? What? I flew. I flew. No clip. Oh, this is so funny. Yeah, I can't do anything. I'm, I'm like, I'm flying around. I'm literally like no clipping around. What the hell? Yeah, okay. Um, I guess that's that. Um. <laughs> yeah, so your Roblox character could also do this, uh, but he just isn't fast enough to achieve this. So in theory, you could fly hack by just training to run really fast. I'm not sure if this works in real life, but you know, if someone wants to try, then let, let me know. And yeah, um, you know, like I said, I really did think that water would be different, but I guess it's not. I do hope that this taught you uh, something about just how speed in Roblox works, and in any game in general, right? Like, the number goes so high, and it, it, it keeps up, it, like it does, but then at some point, it, it's just like, it can't. It can't do anything. Right now it can, but then, oh, yeah, there we go. I just can't move. And you know what? One last thing one last thing that i really want to try out remember how before i told you how like oh yeah like if you move uh something to like a million studs up it starts to crash let's actually test that out with my speed because i'm genuinely incredibly curious how this is going to work out okay yeah so my character does not look the best um but i can f go really fast and okay i just can't move anymore a small thing that I've noticed is that my spawn location is gone for some reason. Uh, I'm not too sure where, where it is. And gameplay pause. Gameplay paused already? Yeah, look at that. It's not even letting me play. The gameplay is actually paused this time instead of like just being a little flicker. And the base plates are gone. Beautiful. Yeah, so I guess calculating infinite speed is pretty hard. And it's even harder to do when you also have to account for the fact that you are a million studs up. So yeah, this is how Roblox, I guess, handles big numbers. So in case you're a, you know, developer or, you know, just whatever, you're just a player, you're like, oh, why, why don't more Roblox games have, you know, huge things? This is why, okay? I'm not saying you can't have big things in Roblox, but there, there does become a point where if you want to achieve something like this, you just have to make it like some optical illusion or something, like something that isn't real, because this just doesn't work out. But, you know, I do hope you learned something, um, you know, about how never use big numbers ever. And if you actually are interested in Roblox, for whatever reason, uh, I do have a course, and it, you can preview it for free. No sign up, no no mommy's credit card, I don't need that. You, you can check out the videos, there are like 7 hours of like content. Um, obviously some of it is paid, but some of it is free. So do go check out the link in the description and the pinned comment. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, join the Discord, do some cool stuff. Uh, I guess go Google uh, floating point inaccuracy and tell me in the comments if I'm correct. Because I genuinely don't remember if I am. It was like floating point error or like big number error. It was something like that. I genuinely don't remember. But, you know, I guess um, we survived with our infinite speed. And, you know, as always, we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.